So I'm in my backyard, um, home alone. Just kind of working out. Feeling a little dizzy right now. It sucks when you're 36 years old and once you're home alone then you start having all these what if thoughts this and then you're like what if this happens, what if that happens? Since I'm always in my bedroom, sitting or laying down, I lost a lot of weight. Just because I don't want to get off my bed. But. I try to work out as much as I can, but a lot of times, as soon as I start feeling dizzy, I, I quickly just lay back down on my bed. And that's the worst thing. Because the more I, I want and hide from my symptoms, the worse they get because I'm just, just getting scared. But the fact of the matter is, no matter where I am, the symptoms go with me. But I just feel safer when I'm laying down. Even though when I lay down, it's, it feels like I'm still moving, or uh, uh, my body's going under the bed. That's the worst feeling. Now, if I didn't feel dizzy, or had any head sensations, I would be better off. I can live with the detached feeling. They don't bother me as much as the dizziness and the head symptoms. Because if I didn't have any of the head sensations that I get, the dizziness, I wouldn't be laying down as much. And that's, it is cloudy, it's been raining on and off this entire week, so I haven't been going outside as much. And I shouldn't use that as an excuse, because I can just open the door and just like, you know, sit, be, sit under the covers. Like I am right now, but you know, I used the wind as an excuse, and I don't know what's with this um, exercise equipment. It's not really working the way it should be working. I don't know where my parents got it from, but as long as I keep my legs moving, I'll still call it a a workout, even though. Doesn't feel like I'm really doing much, but as long as I'm, I get my legs moving, that's all that matters. <laughs>